Hey guys, what is up? And today, me and my good friend BearGuy7, we will be re reacting to an SCP video. Um, and today we have a special guest, Calvin317. You are recognizing him for the first one that already Fortnite videos and has never been in a video since. Yeah, he hasn't. He's been like barely a Fortnite one Fortnite video. Anyways, so yeah, um. The other day we're watching an SCP video made by Dr. Bob, um, maybe go subscribe to him, I don't know, he does SCP videos, and, yeah, stuff. Uh, anyway. He wants to Dr. Bob, we need yeah. subscribers. Yes. But we want to feed our pets, and just, we don't have children yeah. yet. Oh, okay. Anyways, so, we will be reacting to one of his videos called The House of the Human Puppets. Sounds very scary. But I guess we're gonna bring up the. Viewer discretion. Wait. Also, viewer discretion is is advised. If you have problems sleeping at night, such as nightmares, or if you watch something scary, you should probably shouldn't watch this. And oh, yep. if you are stupid enough and you have those problems, remember, this is Russian, not American. Don't oh. be scared. Oh. Well, anyways, guys, let us get right into the video. Like and subscribe. And... Two teenagers cautiously okay. approach an old, decrepit house. 16. The house looks like it was built hundreds of years ago, and from the outside, it appears to be in a serious state of disrepair. Wait, hold on, really quick, can you hear the audio? No. Oh, okay, oops, okay, hold on. Who's up, guys? We'll be right back. Okay, now you should be able to hear it. The walls are cracked and weathered. Okay, the roof yeah. looks okay. to have holes in it. And one of the decorative columns has completely collapsed. Yeah, Teenagers have heard rumors about this dilapidated Wait, restart home, it? though. Yeah. Okay. No, they have heard two teenagers cautiously approach an old. Huh? Is it filming? Are you filming now? Yes, I'm filming. Okay, let's roll. Let me check. Okay, I am filming. Old decrepit All right. house. <laughs> the house looks like it was built hundreds of years ago, and from the outside, it appears there to be in a serious a state of disrepair. The walls are cracked and weathered. The roof looks to have holes in it. And one of the decorative columns has completely collapsed. The teenagers have heard rumors about this dilapidated home, though. They have heard there are riches still to be found inside. One of the teens starts walking up the stairs onto the porch, but his friend seems reluctant to follow. Is he sure that no one lives here? The braver of the friend, and he's been watching the house for days and hasn't seen anyone come in or out. The only signs of life have been a very faint light visible between the cracks of the house's boarded up windows. He's not even sure if he actually saw any lights or not. If there is anyone in there, it's just some crazy old person. They no. can easily scare them off and loot the house at their leisure. His friend still doesn't look sure, but the other teen proceeds to take out a lockpick. He tells his friend to keep a lookout while he works on the door. He doesn't need to keep watch for long, though, since the lock almost immediately opens with a loud click. He opens the door carefully, but it oh, still no. squeaks loudly. So they <laughs> hope he can't see much of anything inside. It looks very dark. Come on, that. he tells his friend as he slips okay. inside. His friend looks nervous as he watches his friend disappear into the house. Oh, Suddenly, no. there's a loud crash. Oh no, we've been caught, he thinks as he spins around. But he doesn't see a police officer coming to arrest them or a nosy passerby. Instead, he watches as a cat chases a rat into some trash cans, knocking more of them over. He breathes a sigh of relief as he watches the cat come out of the pile of trash, holding its prey limply by the tail. He turns to follow his friend into the house, but is stopped when the door snaps shut in his face. Oh man. He tries the doorknob, but it's locked. He taps quietly on the door. No response. He taps a little louder, whispering, Hey, what's going on? Well, I can barely hear you. Hold on, guys, we'll be right back. I'm gonna turn the volume up on Zoom. All right, we're back, and I have the volume ladder, so let's go. Inside, his friend is also pulling up. Wait, the wait, door. wait! Go back to the zoom thing. Yeah. Oh wait! Oops! I forgot to start does share screen. Need... Wait! Does someone need a hug? <laughs> what? Is, what? Oh, what? Uh, open up the thing. Open up what thing? Someone need a hug. Hold on. What are you doing? I can't see anything. Uh, no, you don't see my virtual backup. Okay. Uh, sorry, you like? This is a lot. Alright, guys, we do be back. Sorry about that. 
Um, error, whatever. And let's start back up the video again. Bam. Yes. There's no signs from outside that anyone has heard him. He's trapped. He looks around the darkened room. Just like the outside, the interior looks like it hasn't been updated in hundreds of years. Ooh. Dust and cobwebs are everywhere, like no one has set foot inside in decades. And yet, on several small yeah. tables and shelves around the room... No, an ad! No, gosh, this Raid Shadow Legends. This is so dumb. It's just a dumb game. Don't play it. He to move deep yeah, I know. He Don't play Raid room, Shadow Legends. It's so dumb. Have, have seen but with several Wait, candles you placed around, it. give off just the faintest no. of flickering yellow light. It has, um... Not only does yeah. someone still live here, but they've lit these candles recently. He takes a folding knife out of his pocket and opens it, holding the blade out in front of him. Just then, Ooh. he hears something. A noise like footsteps. Nice. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs in the room right someone. above him. They might be coming down to look here. for him. He He's not still fake. He's pretty close to the corner. Tries to get down behind it as much as possible. Probably be quiet. As he grips the edge of the sofa with one hand, he suddenly drops his knife to the floor and uses his now free hand to stifle a scream. He looks at the hand that was just gripping the sofa and sees a long sewing needle plunge deep into his hand. Oh! Is this stuck into the couch? He pulls the needle out of his hand. It nearly went all the way through, and holds the bloody wound up to his mouth, trying to stop the flow of blood as he waits and listens. The sound of footsteps finally stop. Whoever is walking around, it doesn't sound like they're coming down the stairs to find him. He has to get out of this house, though. There must be another way out. I mean, they can't be scared. I mean, we're talking over the background. Once again, it's in the same I mean, condition as the like, last. But wait, what's that scary? person lying there? Oh my gosh. The house. His friend is looking through what the same trash David? that he saw the cat hunting in. Ah, just what he was looking for, an old wire hanger. He okay. runs back to the old house, untwists it, and inserts the thin wire into the lock. Inside, the trespassing teen gets closer and closer to the thing in the corner. It's so dim, though, with the only light coming from the candles that he still can't make out what it is. But he feels strangely compelled to find out. He picks up one of the candles off of a nearby table. Outside, he still can't get the lock open, but he's got to keep trying. He can't leave his friend trapped inside. He's standing right over the thing in the corner now. He kneels down and brings the candle close to see what it is. Uh, the suspense! His friend throws down the hanger in frustration. Before oh, sitting down on the porch. He can't figure out why his friend was able to open the lock so bet? easily. And now it won't move. I want someone to bet. It's something in the mechanism breaks. Just... He doesn't know what he's going to do, though. Or like Should he call for a rat or something? The police will arrest them both like, if he does. I mean, it's too big to be a rat. It's like, like literally a human stuck for a long time. sitting in the he corner. Actually, like, 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 my rat or like actually scary because like they try to kill you. Should he just leave and hope yeah. that his friend is able to escape on his own? Just as he is wondering what to do, he hears a click behind him. He turns around and tries the door handle, but it's still locked. He looks down and sees the wire hanger. Maybe he'll give it one try. Oh, he sticks not the hanger the into the lock, and hears the lock pop oh, open almost oh, instantly. Oh. He tries the oh. door handle, and this time, the door swings open. He stands there looking through the cracked door into the dark house. He's terrified at the thought of going inside, but he can't leave his friend in there. If he's in trouble, then he has to save him. Gathering up Victor! all of his courage, he enters the house and sees the oh. same thing his friend did in the dusty old room. He takes a step into the candle lit room. What is happening over there? Uh, guys, be quiet. We're trying to make us scared so that we have good content. But it's uh, no, it's so scary. I'm on, scared. Let's get out of here. Still no response. He starts walking toward his friend, but stops when he hears what sounds like footsteps coming from the room above him. He's got to get his friend and get out of this house. He checks over his shoulder to make sure the door is still open before starting to quietly move towards his friend again. He's close enough that he could reach out and shake his this shoulder, but his friend doesn't ah. He walks around to the front of the chair and sees his friend, except it's no longer his friend. Staring back at him are two- Oh! Oh, sheesh! Ah. Oh my gosh! Uh, now if you're scared, you know, click off this video. Oh yeah, you can click off this video, but we're gonna be stuck here watching this. Oh! Привет! 
Today's file is a special one and comes from the Russian branch of the SCP Foundation. It's SCP-1098-RU, also known as the Theater of Living Puppets. Oh my God. SCP-1098-RU is a two-story house located in a what small Russian city, city which appears to have been constructed in the Baroque the darkest is popular in the 17th and 18th centuries, never characterized by its extreme yeah. details. The house is likely several hundred years old and is in an advanced state of disrepair. The local government administration has marked the house for demolition multiple times, but for reasons that remain unknown, these plans are always scrapped or indefinitely delayed. All of the doors Gosh. that lead into SCP-1098-RU are locked, and the windows are all boarded up. Anyone who attempts to damage the house, even just by removing the boards from the windows, will Does. experience an odd anomalous effect that compels them to instead protect the structure and cause it no harm. This effect only wears off when the subject moves at least 50 meters away from the house. The only way to enter SCP-1098-RU is through the front door, which even though it is locked, is easily able to be picked open, which causes no harm to the house and prevents the anomalous effect from overcoming the subject trying to gain entrance. Once someone has entered the house, they will find that the door closes behind them and locks itself. The lock cannot then be picked open again for one hour. The interior of the house matches the exterior stylistically, also appearing to have been designed in the Baroque style and in a poor condition. The house is quite dark since there are no electric lights present, and all of the windows are boarded up, blocking any outside light. The only illumination comes from the lit candles that are placed around the house, which appear to be constantly replaced and lit again when they burn out. The sound of slow footsteps can be heard inside the house, and the room they are coming from seems to change. The entity producing the sounds has been classified as SCP-1098-RU-1, and it is thought that it is also responsible for the placing and relighting of candles around the house, as well as several other anomalous effects. The Russian branch of the SCP Foundation first became aware of potential anomalous activity related to SCP-1098-RU after the disappearance of multiple teenagers was linked to the location. In interviews, many of their friends and family reported that their last known locations were near the site of the old Baroque-style home, and several had expressed a desire to investigate the house before they disappeared. Local police investigated the house, which only led to them disappearing as well. After learning of the strange activity connected to the house, the Foundation took over the investigation, planting a cover story that totalitarian sects were responsible for the disappearances, while Class A amnestics were administered to all relatives of the missing teens. The Foundation immediately began investigating the house, but carefully, since they had already seen how easily people could go missing inside. In the first excursion into the house, a remotely controlled robot fitted with a camera was sent inside. Just like when a person enters, the door closed and locked behind the robot. But its camera feed continued to broadcast images to the researchers outside. As the robot explored the rundown house's rooms, it found something much more disturbing than just lit candles. In several of the rooms, corpses were discovered, which were later identified as being some of the missing teenagers. Oh my gosh! The bodies found had their eyeballs removed, what? and thick threads had been sewn into their arms and legs. Oh, so that's the so that's why there's a sewing needle, whatever. Oh my gosh! Cover your eyes, yeah, yeah, cover your if you're under the age of ten, then you should probably cover your eyes. I don't know. No signs of decomposition were present though, despite some of the bodies likely being many months old. Several objects were also found next to the bodies, including surgical knives, needles, thread, and at least one artificial eye. What? Exactly one hour after the robot entered the house, the camera ceased broadcasting images and all contact was lost. For the second excursion into the house, the Foundation decided that a human being would be more effective at gathering information than a robot. A Class D personnel was given a flashlight, a camera, and a radio, and sent on a mission to attempt to remove objects from the house and to locate the robot from the first research mission. The D-Class entered the house, I don't think researchers noted over. that from what they could see on the video feed, that the layout of the house had been changed. Candles were still the the neutral. though it was clear yeah. that they had been replaced by fresh ones. As the D-Class explored the first floor of the house, he reported that he could hear footsteps coming from different parts of the house. And on one occasion, that they sounded like they were coming from a room he had just left. But when he returned to that room, no one was present. He wasn't able to locate the missing robot, but did find the same corpses that the robot had. 
He was ordered by the researchers mm. to pick up one of the surgical knives and try bringing it out of the house. But the moment he picked it up, all contact was lost. A third mission into the house was then tried, this time with they another remotely controlled robot. Though so this one was more advanced and equipped with a thermal imager. Well, I can really hear you. Equipment. This robot was also better suited for exploration and was capable of climbing stairs so that the foundation could finally find out what was on the second floor of this strange house. The robot entered the home and ascended to the second floor. As it explored the rooms, it found one particularly strange one that appeared to be operating as a kind of sewing workshop with huge amounts of thread, needles, and other sewing supplies spread across multiple tables. Dark red stains covered many of the tables, but no bodies were discovered in the sewing room. The robot continued to explore the second floor, though, and soon discovered many more corpses, accounting for nearly all of the missing teenagers, the police that had vanished, as well as the missing D-class person. Oh, my goodness. It's a George Washington clothes, whatever. And removed and replaced with artificial ones, giving them the perpetual glassy eyes. Oh, Long, thick threads have been sewn into their arms and legs as well. The sound of the equipment on the robot captured the same sounds of footsteps that the D-Class had reported, but the thermal imager didn't locate any signs of life. The researchers decided to call an end to the experiment and began guiding the robot back out of the house. But just as it reached the front door, the connection was lost, and the robot has never been located. One final expedition into the home was approved, this time using another D-Class personnel, whose mission was to explore the entire house, including the second floor, before attempting to leave the home. The D-Class entered the home as normal, but immediately reported feeling a strange feeling that the other D-Class hadn't mentioned. He told the researchers listening that he was experiencing an intense headache and pressure in his ears, and that he could hear what sounded like someone crying in another room. None of the equipment picked up the crying sounds, and the D-Class was ordered to investigate further. He approached the room that he claimed the sound was coming from. Oh no, it's a pencil thing! He was ordered to enter the room, and though he seemed scared and reluctant, eventually he did so. Once inside, he reported seeing a young girl wearing an 18th century style dress. The girl was dancing, but crying as she did so. Just like on the corpses that Oh had my gosh! What the heck? Looks like she stretched out towards the ceiling. D-Class followed their path up, but they disappeared into the darkness. <laughs> oh my goodness! Just an inky black void where something was manipulating the strings attached to the girl, forcing her to dance. None of these visuals reported by the Class D could be seen on the video feeds the researchers were watching. As far as they could see, he was staring into an empty room. The D Class was ordered to continue watching this strange recital, though, and after five minutes, all of the communication devices ceased working. The video feed was lost too, but the audio continued to record for a few more seconds, during which time a sharp clap noise was heard. The D-Class began screaming as a deep male voice spoke a phrase in Latin, et perficiendi sit pretium. The performance must be paid for. No further signs of the D-Class were ever found. SCP-1098-RU has since been fenced off to prevent the general public from being able to enter it. A patrol team of four security guards is always on site, and anyone who attempts to gain entry to the house is to be detained, interrogated, and administered Class B amnestics. Additional research into SCP-1098-RU is ongoing, but requires approval from at least two members of the O5 Council, and to date, no further expeditions inside this anomaly, which has been given the object Class Euclid, have been authorized. It is still unknown who or what exactly the entity inside of SCP-1098-RU is, but it has been designated as SCP-1098-RU-1, and some in the Foundation have taken to calling it by a nickname, the Master of Puppets. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob, like scp 0 after school retention for another terrifying anomalous location. Oh. Sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, so well that was as we delve further and further into That was a little scary. <laughs> Towards the end of that puppet version. Oh my gosh. Yes, afterthoughts. Afterthoughts. Alright, time uh what it I didn't find that scary, but I found it like weird. Yeah. Intriguing. After that, after that, I didn't need a hug. 
Wait, what? What about what? you? Do you also? Yes, I need a I hug. Alright, anyways, let's close that tab out. Uh, so. Yeah, that was creepy. Do you have any other people you? Huh? Hey man, do you have any thoughts? Also, you should probably renew yourself on the Dom. Well, my thoughts, um, on this were, oh wait. Um, my, th my thoughts on this video, um, well, wait, can this, can this thing hear me? Hopefully it can. Anyways, oh yeah, I can. Oops, wait. That's weird. Huh. Could it hear me? I think it can. Anyways. My thoughts on this video were just okay. It's very creepy, and well, not very creepy, but like very weird and weird and more weird and weird. Very weird, and yeah, that was the end of this video thank you for watching and this is the house of the human puppets by dr bob um scp1098 this is creepy like if we get to five likes then me and bird guy will do another one of these so yeah and like five and likes you're never gonna make that i have I've done like twelve like I've done. Get another... I've done I've done it before, okay, bird guys. So just, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay. Number five likes. Thanks, Do another one.